This video encourages viewers not to leave standing water. For example, don't leave outside buckets, containers, or other materials that can collect rainwater. One argument for this is public health. Standing water breeds mosquitoes, which can sometimes transmit diseases. This blog post by the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommends emptying containers of standing water once per week. However, I would go further and recommend not having standing water at all. Because standing water is a breeding ground for some insects, it allows lots of insect offspring to be born involuntarily into short and painful lives. These are probably larvae of some kind that I found swimming around in standing water at my house. Unfortunately, my housemate insists on capturing rainwater in various buckets and trays, and I can't persuade my housemate not to do this. So I sadly have seen many examples of how standing water breeds insect larvae like these. These particular larvae were breeding in the small tray of water for a flower pot and this water was only about two centimeters deep. Even worse is another bucket nearby that was capturing rainwater. It's full of much bigger creatures that are probably also insect larvae, though I can't identify them. I would guess that the surface of this small container had at least 50 or so of these critters. All of them will die soon, whether as larvae, pupae, or shortly after maturing into adults. For example, adult mosquitoes typically live just a few weeks, and the trend is similar for other kinds of insects. Another reason why standing water causes bug suffering is that bugs can get trapped in buckets or other containers and drown. Here you can see a bucket containing a drowned moth. And this bucket contains not just a drowned moth, but also two drowned spiders. One of the buckets also had a live springtail. The springtail was light enough to be able to stand on the surface of the water, but it couldn't get out because the sides of the bucket were too high. Eventually, I let the springtail out by having it climb onto a leaf. Here you can see an ant trapped in a seemingly trivial amount of water. This is the lid of a container, and it has only about one centimeter of rainwater in it. But the ant can't grab a foothold on the edge of the container. Fortunately, the ant can float on the surface, but it's at the mercy of the wind. A few minutes later, I saw another bug also caught in this container lid. It was also floating around and sometimes bumped into and crawled onto the ant. I watched these bugs for about seven minutes, hoping to see them able to escape on their own. But they just kept floating around, unable to escape. I don't know if they would have gotten out eventually on their own, but to avoid taking the chance, I dumped out the water from the container lid onto the gravel. Of course, I would like to dump out all the standing water around my house like this, and keep the buckets and other containers inverted, but I don't have permission to do that. Because it was raining today, I also came across a snail while filming.
Thank you.